Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of writing one step, one variable equations and inequalities. This is standard 6.9a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 8 off the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Liang has a goal of walking at least, that's going to be important for us, 18 miles. And she walks at a rate, so that's going to also be helpful for us, 4 miles per hour, which is a pretty fast walk. Which inequality can Liang use to find the number of hours that she would need in order to meet or exceed? So here we go. Meet or exceed, going to be very important for us. So let's see if we can draw this in a picture. So I'm going to draw a number line here, and I want to cut it in half, and I'll say this is going to be 0, 10 miles, 20 miles, and let's break these down into 5 and 15. So let's say her goal is to start from 0 and walk to at least 18, so I'm going to put a little closed dot right there, thinking that is her goal, 18 miles. At least, though, let's, let's dive into this for a little bit. What does that mean, at least? She doesn't want to walk exactly 18. So if she wanted to walk exactly 18, we would just leave it as that dot. That's her goal. But she wants to walk at least and she wants to either meet or exceed. So she can actually go beyond it. She is fine with walking more than 18 miles. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of extend our number line here. I'm gonna draw a little arrow saying 18 or more. Or you see this meet or exceed. Hopefully you see that this is going to be equal to or exceed means greater than. So typically we actually say it in the opposite order. We say uh, greater than or equal to. But you could say equal or greater than. But she wants to be either equal to 18 or greater than 18. So how does she walk? She walks in four mile chunks, right? So what we could do is we can actually just draw a picture here. We can draw these four mile chunks and just count up by fours. So I'm going to get from 4. Another 4 is going to get us to 8. So I'm going to put that right there. So we've got 4. We've got 8. Another chunk is going to get us to about 12. And then another chunk is going to get us to 16. So, so far we've got 1. We've got 2. We've got 3. We've got 4 chunks. And we don't need a fifth chunk. That fifth chunk is going to get us all the way to 20. So it's going to be 4 and a bit. Now how do we turn that into an inequality? Right? Well, what we can do to figure out exactly what she needs is we can turn it into an inequality by writing this as an equation. Pulling this off of our number line, writing this as an equation. So 4 miles per hour. So this word per gives us multiplication. That's a rate. And anytime we see a rate, and that per is a big clue word that we're looking at, a rate, miles per hour, that means we're going to multiply. So we're going to multiply the amount that she walks, 4 miles, times the rate per hour. So 4 miles per hour equals this 4h. So we are going to Eliminate H and J because they're adding. That's not an additive relationship. That's a multiplicative relationship. Now we come back to look at our two options. Greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. Well, remember, she wants to meet or exceed. So she wants to be greater than, meet, or exceed this 18 miles. And that's going to actually give us F. So if we take a look at that, we want to know actually what it is. All we need to do is we need to divide by 4. And we're going to say h is greater than or equal to 4.5. She needs to walk four and a half hours to meet or exceed her goal. The answer is f. 